DMTM The Show presents Assassin's Creed Mirage Review with the Ambassador and Alejandra here to review Assassin's Creed Mirage for you. Mm-hmm. And uh, what made you decide to get it? Um, well, at first I wanted to wait a little bit, but then I wanted to get it because um, I heard that it plays like the original Assassin's Creed's like uh, gameplay and fighting style. And so I was like, hey, let me just get it. Um, I really, I mean, who doesn't like the originals? Um, so, and it does have the stealthiness. Uh, so, it's with it, with the gameplay. Yeah, so uh, is it like the first one where you can't go in the water? <laughs> you can definitely go in the water. Oh, okay, yeah. so you can go in the water. You can go in the water. I go in the water quite a lot to get rid of uh, the guards after me. So, it's a very useful thing, actually. So, you see fish, too. That's pretty cool. So, would you say you're a strong character or you really need to do the stealth to be able to get the missions done on this one? You can you can go full on combat if you want, but I feel it's just easier um, going stealthy. Um, I mean, it does take more work and more patience, which I don't have, which I'm trying to just do stealth, but then I kind of mess up sometimes. Um, but... It's definitely, um, stealth is a lot funner, especially with these kind of games. Yeah, I imagine it's something like the Arkham games where you go as stealth as you can until... Until noticed. Until you just don't (laughs) have much of a choice and you either try to hide to recover your stealthness or you just... Figure out ways to single enemies off to be able to take them out so you don't get ganged up on. Yeah, but the only thing is you can't kind of, you can't go hidden once you're full on detected because, you know, the guards sort of blow the horn, do the bell, stuff like that. So once you get noticed, you're pretty much. Do they start setting booby traps too? No, no booby traps. Okay. Not that I've played yet. Not that I've noticed. I'm, I've only been playing about seven hours into the game. Seven, eight hours. Um, it is a twenty-two hour game. Just the story, not including you want to do like perfectionist of like getting all the chests, all the locations, the side quests. Um, I believe that's a little bit more hours. I forgot how many things. Like twenty-eight or something. Twenty-six. I don't remember. Who's the who's the character? The character is Basim. Um, he's actually in Valhalla. He's actually, I guess, the bad guy in Valhalla because he tries to kill Eivor and. Well, Eowyn. is he a bad guy or is he just kind of like serving himself and getting in the way? He's definitely serving himself. Um, like, is he like? Like, is he trying to go after you just to go after you? Or is it because you just happen to be there? I think it's more because you happen to be there. Okay, so um, I would probably say that closer to, like, a villain that's, like, kind of teetering towards the anti-hero. Mm-hmm. Where he's not, like, completely bad, but he's still not a good person. Yeah, and I think that's what kind of makes it hard to... um. To kind of like the character in Mirage because you know what he turns into. Um, so, I mean, he's a thief turned assassin. Um, you still steal during the game, which is pretty, I don't know, the pick, 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 so, uh, are there, like, different skills you can develop? Uh, there is a skill tree, yes. Oh. Um, I haven't really um, unlocked them, and I haven't really looked into them either. Like, what? what's, like, the basic, because uh, usually there's usually basic skill levels. Like, with Batman, there's usually, like, armor, no, like, batarangs, this, like... This one's more like, well, from what I've been noticing, it's more like, get more elixir, which is health. Uh, potions, better eco vision, roll when you fall, 
so you don't get more damage. I haven't, like I said, I haven't really so, discovered So more. is there one that's, like, focused on thievery? Yeah. And then one that focuses on, like, stealthness? And then one that focuses on, like, endurance? Yeah, so there's three different branches. I just don't, like I said, I just haven't been... Yeah, because usually, mm -hmm. usually each branch will have, like, certain themes. Yeah. And then if it's anything like some of the other games... Yeah, no. Yeah, you know, sometimes you have to unlock a skill in another branch to unlock uh, get there, or is it more linear the branch? I think it's more linear. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I usually look into the skills, but not this one. I'm just kind of going and trying to discover all the chests and and waypoints and stuff before I actually get into the missions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I know. The skills usually help you be able to get those uh, missions done depending on the type of mission. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you... Oh, what's what's the Eagle Vision like in this one? Um, I mean, it's like the previous ones. Um, it's, it's not bad. Yeah. You still have the Eagle. I mean, you just... You can detect enemies or objectives and then... You can do your sea enemies and crates and entryways and stuff like that. So would it be closer to like the original games or like Valhalla and Odyssey and Origins? It's style? definitely more towards the newer games. Okay, so the Eagle Vision is like kind of... Yeah. Like the newer games? Yeah, which I really like that they focus a lot on the Eagles. It's pretty cool and you get to customize them. I mean, you get to pick different kind of Eagles too. So do different eagles have different like traits? No. Oh, all cosmetic. All cosmetic. All okay. cosmetic. Yeah. That's no fun. I like doing like different traits. Yeah, but you don't. I mean, that's. I think that's what the skill points are for, though. Enhances. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. And where does this one take place? In Baghdad. It's all the deserts around it. Um, I think it just focuses more on Baghdad. So Iraq and the Middle East, basically. Yeah. yeah. And do you go anywhere like outside of Iraq, or is it just like no for me from area? From what I've played, it's just Baghdad area and like I said, the desert surrounding it. But there's no other cities. Okay, is it? Is it like the Ottoman Empire that's there right now? I don't know. Okay, yeah. I don't and know. Quite a few big empires were by there. Ottoman, Persian. I... Byzantine. I think it said it, I just don't remember. Yeah, uh, but it's not really like a main... Yeah, it's not a ...part main. of the story. No. It's mostly just dealing with Baghdad politics. Ah, uh, you're with the order. With the order. Just how every other, you're just trying to figure out, trying to stop the order from controlling Baghdad and the emperor. Okay. And the prince. And... Uh, what would you give this game as far as a rating? So our ratings mm -hmm. are buy, rent, or pass. I would definitely say rent. No passing. Just rent it. Or maybe get it when it's on sale. Yeah, so like a good Steam sale or a console sale. Yeah, a good Steam sale or console sale. Um, I do play it on the Xbox. Um, you know what consoles this is for? I know it's PC. PC, PlayStation 5. 5? Five. 5. And Xbox Series S and X? Yes. Okay. And uh, you played on the Series X, right? Yes, I played on the Series X. Yeah, play all my all my um Assassin's Creed games on the Xbox. Okay. Yeah. What would you say is your favorite Assassin's Creed game so far? <laughs> my favorite is definitely Odyssey. Um, it's actually funny because I first started playing it, and then I was like, "Nah, I hate this game." And then I gave it a few months of a break, and then I started over from the beginning, and I absolutely loved it. I think I almost hundred percent it. I discovered everything, all the puzzles. It's probably my favorite one. 
I know you played a lot of Valhalla also. Well, it was a very big game. Valhalla was big. It was a very big, yeah. And then yeah. they had um, events like Christmas time and Yule time. Okay. And what about the Origins? Origins was fun. It was, uh, I mean, it kind of introduced a new style of fighting, which is fun. Um, I like the story, but I feel like I liked Odyssey the best out of all of them. That makes sense because mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times when you get like a new style and uh, there's only so much testing will tell you. Yeah. You, you kind of learn more as you start making sequels. Yeah. But it was it was definitely nice to go back to the original fighting style, the more stealthy, um, not just being a Viking and just going and killing everything or a Greek hero, I guess. Yeah. You could call it. Mm hmm And you weren't like a demigod or anything. No, you were just a regular Viking. Yeah. Oh, and for a Odyssey, you weren't. Oh like, no no um. You were just like a. No. Regular person. Yep, the regular person. So this is definitely like a smaller area scope? Oh, yeah. It's definitely smaller. Um, like I said, you're only a Baghdad. Surrounding deserts, it's very small. Um, so it's just uh, a lot smaller than what we're, we've been used to for the past years. Definitely a lot. Yeah, so it was $50 the game? Yeah, $50. And then the newer ones are 70 now. Mm -hmm. So just, it it just seems like $20 less, there should be more to it. Yeah, but I still feel like it could have been a DLC. I think it got more people for the fighting style, but it could have definitely been a DLC. Like, oh, hey, pay... $30 extra just to learn about Bassam and where he came from, his origin. I would have done it instead of just buying a whole new game. Okay. That makes sense. All right. Looks like uh, that wraps up the review here. Uh, let us know what you think of the game in the comments. And uh, stay nerdy, Planet Earth.